when the lockdown got announced, we already made orders for the hospitality industry and all of them cancelled it because the hotels were on hard lockdown. So we were stuck with over 200,000 cookies that was about to expire in August. And none of us knew in March that this lockdown, five months down the line, is still going to be with us. Um, so it was really tough. We went down from baking every single day to one or two days in a week. And it was basically your purity that kept us going, baking for purity and for clicks under their own brand names and no orders from the hotel industry, which is 65% of our business. In the beginning of July, we got to a point where we made decisions to say, we can't do this anymore. We've inherited so much debt right now and the hole that we've dug ourselves into to try and remain trading is just so big right now, we're not going to be able to get out of it. And the staff can't live with two days wages in a week. We sent a Facebook post out, which News24 covered for us, and they did an article, and I'm so grateful for it, because they sent this plea that I put on Facebook to say, public, please buy 10 or 20 or 30 cookies from these um, expired stock that's going to expire. Please help us purchase a few cookies online. And that just spread like wildfire. And yeah, I mean, it's now three weeks um, later, and the net effect of everybody being able to support us and who wanted to support us not only resulted in us selling that stock that was about to expire, but it added eight baking days to our facility. And we're so grateful. And this is 529 people that each placed a small order here, a small order there, that literally kept our business going. So we cannot say thank you enough to the public for actually hearing our plea and helping our company to survive.